Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a full drugstore makeup tutorial. Loved, absolutely loved doing this for you guys because I was able to try some new products, let you know what some of my drugstore faves are. Speaking of that, make sure to let me know what you guys love. Like what are your favorite drugstore products in the comments so I can check those out. And I also have something very exciting for you guys at the end of this video. Make sure to watch the whole thing through. Don't skip through. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. And you guys can come follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook. My username is Trina Dura on all of them. And now we can get started. All right, so I have nothing on my face except for moisturizer. And I'm going to start with this Nivea aftershave balm. I'm sure majority of you, majority of you guys have heard about this like thing that's going around and it's to use this aftershave balm as a primer. I've been doing this for like a month, maybe, actually probably like two months and I'm really not sure how I feel about it yet and I think honestly I'm just doing it because everybody else raves about it. If anything, it does just kind of give your makeup something to stick to. Okay, so for foundation I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and it's actually been a long time since I've used this. I think it's mostly just because I've been trying a lot of other foundations. So once I applied it with my brush, which by the way I'm using the Real Techniques foundation brush, I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender. It's damp. So make sure to get your beauty blender down before doing this and I'm just going to work it all into the skin and uh, Okay, so since we did the fit me foundation I've decided to pull out all the stops and we're gonna actually just go with this whole Maybelline fit me line These two are like currently in my purse right now like I use them almost every day Which I don't know if there's anything left in here, but we're gonna try. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna apply it in like a triangle under the eyes. This is the color 25, by the way, it's medium. And the reason why I use this all the time is because it looks really natural on the skin. Like it doesn't provide like full, full coverage, but for your everyday natural days, that's actually a good thing. I'm gonna blend this all in with the beauty blender again. Oh, I was making the ugly concealer face. Okay, so that's just the one layer of this concealer, and I have these ones from Rimmel, and I'm kind of tempted to do this because somebody snapped me and told me that they actually are really good highlighters, so I'm actually going to mix a little bit of the lighter one in. Look, I'm a tree. Not bad. The lighter one is number 125. Okay, so that actually turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to. And now I actually want to show you another little trick that I do with drugstore foundation. So I used to use like L'Oreal True Match was my holy grail foundation back in the day. What I used to do was buy my regular shade, which I believe was W5. And then I would buy the darkest shade that they had and this is uh, Cappuccino N8. And I would just touch the cap and with whatever product came out, I would use this to contour my face. So if you just watch my last highlight and contour video, I show you how to do this basically with creams. I use the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit, so say you don't have that and you want to make it work with a drugstore foundation or whatever you have at home, just use a darker foundation. And then I take like the fat side of the sponge, like the rounded side, and I just go around in like circular motions and it starts to blend it in. And then it just starts to add like a slight contour. It still looks really natural too because it's a liquid. Like anytime that you're using liquids and creams, I just find that it gives you a really natural base. Sometimes powder you can be a little heavy handed and it ends up looking a little muddy. Now once everything is all blended in, you need to set the foundation. So I'm going to use the Fit Me powder and this is also in 130 and my NYX, um, it says number 8 brush. but. I'll link everything in the description box. I actually really love this brush. I've been using it for a while now and it's usually what I use to set my foundation or add highlighter. I like this powder too because it takes away a lot of the shine and so you can really choose where you want to put the shine back into your skin. Alright, brow time and if you guys watch my videos on the regular, you know I love using the Almay Brunette Brow Pencil. I usually just start at the beginning of the brow right here and make like a light line and bring that up into the arch 
and then lightly feather that out into the tail. And then when we get to about here, I just kind of go, you can see where your natural line wants to take you, so I just follow that. And small flicks. Now it's time to use a spoolie. This is your best friend. You can't do your brows without using this. This is what blends them in, makes them look more natural. Okay, so brows are done, and I was just going through my stash looking for a drugstore eyeshadow primer, which I don't have, which is kind of surprising. So I'm looking to the next best thing, and I found a waterproof coal kajal liner from Rimmel, and it's nude. So I'm just gonna try this, because I'm just really looking to have something blank out the lid and it's waterproof. So got the CoverGirl True Naked Goldens palette. I haven't used this yet and I've been waiting for a chance to, so I feel like I might crack this baby open. I'm going to use my Suva Beauty eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take this first light color, which I think is matte. So I'm just going to put this color all over the lid and then I'm also going to take some more of this shade and put it up on the brow bone. That's not bad, and I'm surprised because I didn't know how pigmented um, CoverGirl shadows were because I don't remember the last time I used CoverGirl eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take this fluffy brush from NYX. It's number 16. It's like a blending brush, and this matte neutral brown, and I'm going to use this in my crease. Hey! I like it. I'm going to jazz it up a little with one of these shimmers. This one's more champagne, this one's more gold. Let's do the champagne. I'm using my MAC 242 brush. So I'm just gonna pat this, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And I'm only gonna take it up to the crease. Whoa, it's like a disco ball. Oh, somebody's here. Oh my god, that is one upset FedEx lady. She's so pissed off about the construction that is going on outside and she told me how she gave the flag girl a bouquet of the middle finger. <laughs> Delivery people are so funny, they're all so different and they all make my life like so much better. Okay, where were we? So I'm gonna use this number 17 brush from NYX, a little tap, and put that in the crease. Hey, it's not bad. Okay, this is looking a little bit like too light on the eyelids. So I'm gonna dig into this gold, tap that on. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna pop some liner on, and I'm using one of my fave, fave, fave liners. It's a cream liner from e.l.f. Oh, we're gonna go DJ Khaled right now. Major key to eyeliner is starting off slow so that you don't have like a big, huge line and it doesn't take over your whole lid. So just keep going in small, small flicks, keeping it as close to the lash line as possible and just slowly starting to darken up that lash line so there's no gaps or spaces. All right, so now I'm gonna apply some mascara and I'm just using the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. This is one of my faves. Actually, the Carbon Black is my fave. For lashes, I'm going to be using the Red Cherry Lashes. I think they're number 415. Here they are. Love, love these lashes. Also, the band on them, so thin that you don't even feel it. And I was just using that pencil again, the one that I used to prime my eyes. And I was using it in the tear duct here and look at that, it's so nice. I think I wanna bring this into the, oh yeah, into the waterline. So now I just have to do a little bit of shadow on the lower lash line to kind of balance things off. And I haven't really decided what I wanna do yet. I think to start, I'm just gonna use the brown with a pencil brush. This is also from Suba Beauty. So I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighter now, and I've only used this maybe once or twice, and I totally don't even remember what it looks like, so that's why I wanna use it. It's the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator. So I'm just gonna tap this right here. Oh, it's actually really pretty. I didn't remember how nice it was. So I'm just gonna build it up a little bit. And now to bronze up the face, I'm gonna be using the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. I was telling you guys last night on Snapchat that this used to be like my favorite 
bronzer. I know, it's drugstore, but it works really good. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my Tweezerman blush brush. I always use this with bronzer. And I'm using number 21, Sunlight. I'm going go around in circular motions. Bring it up onto the temples along the hairline, but really work it in so you don't see like a harsh line. Okay, blush. The one that I've actually been using for like the last few days and loving is from CoverGirl. It's called True Blend Blush number 200 Medium Rose. And I'm going to use my multitask brush from Real Techniques. Always use this for blush. And I'm just going to lightly apply this to the apples. So right here in circular motions up and back up onto the cheek. Okay, so, so curious about these. Rimmel's come out with a highlight, contour, and blush trio. I'm gonna give one of these highlighters a try. I'm gonna try Coral Glow, it's the lighter one. So I'm gonna use the Esso Miss Glam Tapered Blush Brush. Pretty good for drugstore, I'm not gonna lie. So now I'm having a really hard time choosing what color lip. You know I love my brown lip right now, so I'm gonna try this. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish A Thousand Kisses Stay On Lip Contouring Pencil. Oh my god, that's a long title. Did I even tell you guys the name of it? It's called Coffee Bean. I think I missed that because of the long title. Oh my god! Oh, I just want to leave it like this, but it's a little bit drying because it's a lip pencil. So I'm going to stick the Revlon Smoky Quartz Gloss just in the center. I'm like absolutely in love with my lips right now. Going back to the palette with my pencil brush again, and I'm going to use a little bit of this like khaki green color and then place it right in here. All right, so that is my completed drugstore makeup look. This was so much fun, and I actually can't believe I haven't done it before. Like, I have so much drugstore makeup. And speaking of putting my makeup to use, I am doing a giveaway. So one lucky viewer is going to win some drugstore makeup products that I have that I just haven't gotten around to because you saw I'm still using products I haven't even tried yet. So there's a few rules, really easy. Make sure you guys do them, make sure you enter. I'm gonna list everything right now. All right, so here's a quick look at some of the products I'll be giving away. There's like over 20, so make sure to check the description box for all the details on how to enter. All right, so make sure you guys enter. I can't wait to get to one of you all of these goodies. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it or you found it helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.